Hello and welcome to the channel. As Nigeria workers yesterday marked the May 1st Workers' Day, President-elect Bola Ahmed Sinyabu was in promissory mode as he made a pledge to the Nigerian worker when he assumes office. Details next. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. May Day. Tinubu promises workers more than a minimum wage. Seemingly addressing workers' outcry over the current national minimum wage set at 30,000 naira, the president-elect, Bola Tinubu has promised a living wage that guarantees a decent life. In the Nigeria I shall have the honor and privilege to lead from May 29, workers will have more than a minimum wage. Tinubu said in a message posted on his Twitter and Facebook account in commemoration of May Day on Monday. You will have a living wage to have a decent life and provide for your families. The president-elect assured the nation's labor force that your fight will be my fight because I will always fight for you. Tinubu told Nigerian workers that we all have a common battle to wage, one which we must win together adding that the fight is against poverty, ignorance, disease, disunity, ethnic and religious hate, and all negative forces that contend against the stability and prosperity of the country. In Nigeria, every May 1st is a special day in our national calendar. The public holiday we observe is not just to commemorate the contributions and sacrifices of workers to the well-being of our country, he said. It serves both as a celebration of the rights of workers to dignity, decent wages and decent living, and more important, it is a testament to the critical role the labor movement plays in our march towards a stronger, united and more prosperous nation. I join the rest of the world and all compatriots to celebrate Nigerian workers on this year's International Workers' Day, he began. Today is a special day in most parts of the world, a day to salute and honor the working people whose hard work and sweat continue to oil the wheel of human progress and advancement. Today is significant in many respects. It is a day forged and born out of the struggle for workers' rights and social economic justice. Since 1891, this day has been observed all over the world. In Nigeria, every May 1st is a special day in our national calendar. The public holiday we observe is not just to commemorate the contributions and sacrifices of workers to the well-being of our country. It serves both as a celebration of the rights of workers to dignity, decent wages and decent living, and more important, it is a testament to the critical role the labor movement plays in our march towards a stronger, united and more prosperous nation. Since 1945, when the railway workers and 16 other public service unions led the first general strike to demand for better wages as a result of rising cost of living, the labor movement in Nigeria has always fought on the side of the masses of our country. It was no surprise that the labor movement added Philip, zest and energy to the struggle for independence by partnering with nationalists such as Namdi Azekewe, Herbert Macaulay, Hamadou Bello, Obafemi Awolowo, Ernest Ecoli and Anthony Enauro, among others. The Nigerian labor movement was also not found wanting during our struggle for the restoration of democracy. The Nigerian Labor Congress and its affiliate organizations, New Peng, Textile Union, Peng and Sin, among others, collaborated with the pro-democracy leaders and groups to restore democratic governance in Nigeria in 1999 after almost two unbroken decades of military dictatorship. On this special day, as your president-elect, I extend my hands of friendship to the Nigerian workers through the two central labor unions, Nigeria Labor Congress and Trade Union Congress. In May, you will find a dependable ally and co-laborer in the fight for social and economic justice for all Nigerians, including all the working people. Your fight will be my fight because I will always fight for you. My plans for better welfare and working conditions are clearly spelled out in my renewed hope agenda for a better Nigeria. It is a covenant bond of conviction and one I am prepared to keep. At this point, 
I must remind Nigerian workers that we all have a common battle to wage, one which we must win together, and it is the fight against poverty, ignorance, disease, disunity, ethnic and religious hate, and all negative forces that contend against the stability and prosperity of our country. In the Nigeria I shall have the honor and privilege to lead from May 29, workers will have more than a minimum wage. You will have a living wage to have a decent life and provide for your families. The days ahead will, however, demand better understanding and cooperation from all sides, because leadership will require that we take tough and hard decisions so that our people and whole Nigerian workers can live more abundantly. I wish Nigerian workers and the leadership of NLC and TUC happy Workers' Day. President-elect Bola Hakmetinyabu. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. On his part, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, in the 2023 election, are said Nigeria cannot get anything right unless workers' welfare is well taken care of. Obi, who spoke on Monday at the commemoration of this year's May Day celebrations at the Eagle Square, Abuja, noted that this is the reason he is insisting on moving the country from consumption to production. The topic of today is social economic justice. When we talk about that, we talk about justice for all, or be told the workers who were gathered for the global annual event used to celebrate workers' achievements. All we want is to build a country where Nigerians will be proud to say that they are Nigerians. A country where people will not be struggling to go out. A country where Holocaust workers will say they are working unhappy. We can't get the economy right. We can't get anything right until the workers are working and they are being looked after. Their welfare and everything. And they are productive. That is why we say we will move it from consumption to production. He urged the workers to continue what they are doing, continue to be law-abiding for a peaceful country, adding that Nigerians have no other country which he said citizens must build for their children. The former Hanambra state governor who said he was at the event in solidarity with workers as a worker himself thanked leaders of the organized labor for extending an invitation to him. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.